Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this was a question we had on the free test that we took whatever day, Monday? Monday. This is a function table. The rule that they gave you is, the question was, which table represents y equals 2 tenths times x? 2 tenths times x. y equals 2 tenths times x is the same as 2 tenths multiplied by x equals y. So all you have to do on a problem like this is go through each answer choice and see which one works. And it's got to work for all three of the things in that table. So if we look at the first, and so I, I can do it. You could probably do it in your head if we use a little bit of brain power. Let me ask you this. Kaylee, is 2 tenths less than or greater than 1? Less than. So my y has to be less than my x. Because I'm multiplying by less than 1. So my y has to be less than my x. So is my y less than my x in, all, in, this, in this puzzle? No, in this table, I'm sorry. In this one, is my y less than my x in all of them? Yes. So it could be this one. In this one, is my y less than my x in all of them? Yes. So I've eliminated one. What about this one? No. So I've eliminated two answers just by asking myself, self, is my y less than my x? Because I'm multiplying by less than one. Is there a difference between this one and this one in my twos? 2 equals 4 tenths, 2 equals 4 tenths. Any difference? No. no. Then I can't eliminate anything. I have 4 equals 8 tenths and 3 equals 8 tenths. So if I end, I have 6 equals 1 and 2 tenths and 4 equals 1 and 2 tenths. So one of these two is going to be wrong starting at the 4. Starting in the middle part of my table. So all i got to do really is see... Does 4 equal 8 tenths or 3 equal 8 tenths? So this is what I want to know. Does uh, 8 tenths equal 3 times 2 tenths? Or does 8 tenths equal 4 times 2 tenths? That's all I have to figure out because my 2's are the same in this. And now I'm checking my second part of my table. But if we look, all three parts of the table have to be correct. But once I know which one equals 8 tenths, then that's going to be, that's going to tell me that that, that, part, that table is correct. So if we look at this and we ask my friend Silas, does 3 times 2 tenths equal 8 tenths, or 4 times 2 tenths equal 8 tenths? 4, because 4 times 2 is 8, one number behind the decimal point, so it's 8 tenths. So that would mean this answer choice would be my answer. Now the tricky thing on this is you notice the first part of the table is correct in both of those. And what tends to happen when you miss one is you go, oh, 2 times 2 tenths is 4 tenths. This must be the answer. Oh, 2 times 2 tenths is 4. This must be the answer. And you just pick one of those without checking the rest of them. And this is an easy one because it could have been done in your head. But some of them you'd need to actually work them out a little bit and put forth a little bit of effort. But this one was fairly easy. It's called a function table. These are, again, problems that they're telling you how to solve it. They're giving you every bit of information. They're giving you every number, and they're telling you what to do to that number. So there's very little reason to miss a problem like this. Real easy problem. Real easy problem. Boom, shakalaka, peace out. God bless, love you, do something kind today. Save the bees, please. Bring me Dr. Pepper and subscribe right now. And subscribe and make your both of your friends subscribe too.